Now, sports from the First National Bank Sports Desk. First National Bank of North Platte. The bank to think of first. Another athlete ready to compete at the collegiate level and another big weekend of basketball here on the network. We dive into sports today with a stop earlier this week over at Gehring High School where a member of the Seacant swimming team was ready to make it official. Gehring senior Haley Rickey will head out of state to go to school and swim at Grinnell College in Iowa. They tell you that when you find your school, you know, and we went to go visit Grinnell. I had talked with the coach beforehand, and after touring the campus and sitting down with Coach Hurley, um, I kind of just had this feeling that Grinnell was where I belonged. Ricky says being a Seacant's been big for her, and her head coach is glad to have gotten to see her progress to this point. Being a Seacat has been really great. Um, Coach John knows that I've really struggled with um, being mentally positive in the pool and keeping that positivity throughout the season. But, um, you know, my four years have been, I'd say they've been pretty great. I went out really strong my freshman, sophomore year. I took a break my junior year and um, I'm back competing and I'm not quite where I was, but I'm getting there, so. We did take, she did take a, a year off and um, We've sat and had many talks uh, on working about the mental game, and she's really come a long ways. Uh, it's fun to see her come back and compete, uh, especially having a year off. Um, I am so excited for her to, to extend her career in swimming, and um, she's going to be a big asset to, to Grinnell. This year for the Seacats has been challenging as they are without a home pool to hold meets. They traveled to McCook and won a pair of first places the girls and boys did this past weekend. And Ricky says adopting that road warrior mentality has made everyone a little more mentally tough. One thing we talked about at the beginning of season was we are the team without a home. Um, and we're very thankful that the Y has given us, um, you know, the chance to swim at their pool and have um, the program continue and um, you know no matter where we seem to swim like we do very well um, even if it's not the best pool it's not the right temperature we um, we we still come through and we still perform our best. Ricky says she does the dirty work handling some of the more grueling races on the schedule. I've always been a distance swimmer so I love swimming those long events that everybody hates and I, when I get to college, there's no really telling what I'll swim. I'm hoping I get to swim the same events, maybe throw in a mile here and there. Gearing senior and Seacant competitor Haley Rickey signed earlier this week with Grinnell College in Iowa. She becomes the second Gearing swimmer to earn a college scholarship this year, joining Alana Becker, who signed with Nebraska Omaha. The Seacats in action this weekend there, a long ways from home again at Omaha West Side on Friday and Saturday. Plenty of high school basketball on tap over the next three nights. Senior night at Gearing tonight as the Bulldogs take on the Baird Tigers. TV and radio tomorrow for Gearing hosting Alliance. Scott's Bluff, they've got games against Rapid City schools on tap. Home tomorrow night for Central and then an early departure on Saturday afternoon with start times at Stevens that day at 2 and 3.30. And the lone games of the weekend for the WNCC Cougars. They'll be at home tomorrow night to take on Otero Junior College. Both teams coming off wins on Tuesday against Trinidad State. The women have won 17 straight now. As for the WNCC men, 3-2 and two, their South Subregion record. Chuck Schwartz will have the games from Cougar Palace tomorrow night on KOZY.